Yo, I can make you see with your eyes closed. I know, sounds ridiculous. Stare at the dots in the center of this photo. There's four dots, okay? What I want you to do is stare at that until I tell you to stop, okay? Continue staring at it. Don't worry, you can blink though. You don't have to keep your eyes open or anything. So keep staring at those dots, all right? I know, I might get a little trippy, but keep looking at it. Keep looking at it until I tell you to stop. Now, soon, I'm gonna have you close your eyes. Don't do it yet. But after you stare at it for a little while and I have you close your eyes, you're gonna tilt your head up a little bit after you've closed your eyes. And you're gonna kind of blink with your eyes closed, okay? If that makes sense. So keep staring, keep staring. Just a few more seconds. All right, if this works, you should literally see a picture of Jesus. All right, do me a favor, guys. Now, close your eyes, tilt your head up, blink with your eyes closed. Did you see it, guys? If you did, hit that like and follow for more fun like this and magic. Don't blink. Stare at the middle of this video. Don't take your eyes off of it. I'm about to make everything in your room look like it's stretching, all right? In a second, I'm gonna count down from 10. On one, just look around you and everything is gonna look like it's stretching. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Look around you. Does everything look crazy? Let me know by liking and following if it does and send this to someone who's got to try it. What do you see first in this photo? According to researchers, if you see the tree first, you are logical, but sometimes you tend to hide your emotions. If you see the gorilla first, you are someone who's curious, you like to learn new things. If you see the lion first, you are very adventurous, you act off of impulse sometimes, that could be good or bad. And finally, if you see the fish first, there's two fish in the photo. Some of you probably didn't even notice them. If you saw those before anything else, you were very precise. And I'd really like to know if you're that one. But let me know what you were and make sure to like and follow if you want to see more of these guys. Peace. Don't blink. This is crazy. Stare at the white dot in the middle of your screen. Don't take your eyes off of it. You'll notice in your peripheral vision, there's a bunch of colors. Don't worry about those right now. Just stare at the white dot. I'm going to count down from 10. On one, look up at your ceiling and blink a bunch of times repeatedly you're still gonna see the squares on your ceiling. You might even see them in color. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Look at your ceiling, blink a bunch of times repeatedly. Do you still see the colored squares? Let me know by liking and following. If you did, send this to someone who's gotta try it. Don't blink. Notice there's two different color circles and a little black dot in between. Stare at the black dot, because I'm going to make you hallucinate right now. I'm going to count down from 10. On one, the colors are going to look like they switched, but they really didn't. They really just turned to gray. You heard me right. They're going to go to gray, but you're going to see them as switched. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Did the colors look like they switched? Let me know, because look away from the dot. They really are just gray. I'm going to hypnotize you. Right now, stare at the plus in the middle of your screen. You'll notice it's inside of a Batman logo. If you like Batman, let me know, because I do. But either way, keep staring at that plus, but don't worry, you can blink. Just don't take your eyes off that center plus. And let me explain to you what's gonna happen. In a little bit, not yet, what you're gonna do is you're gonna look up. Wherever you are, you're gonna look up, and you're just gonna blink a few times. And you should still see the logo, not yet. I know you're getting anxious. But guys, you'll still see the logo even though you're not looking at it anymore. And guys, if it works, if you really were hypnotized to still see it even afterwards, let me know by hitting that like button and hit that plus right above it if you wanna see more. All right, so let's do it in three, two, one. Look up, blink a few times. Do you still see it? Let me know. Like, come on, that's pretty crazy. You're gonna hallucinate. Right now, stare at the dot in the middle of your screen and notice in your peripheral vision, you'll notice there's buildings and trees in a really nice setting, but it's really oddly colored. But here's what's gonna happen. Because you're hallucinating, just keep staring at that dot. Don't worry, you can blink though. Over time, you're gonna become more relaxed. And eventually, I'm gonna turn the image to black and white, but because you're hallucinating, you're still gonna see color. It's gonna look more realistic than it looks right now even. Okay, so keep staring at the dot. And I'm gonna turn it back to black and white in five, four, three, two, one. But you still see color, don't you? But look away from the dot, you'll notice it really is black and white. Guys, if it worked, let me know by hitting that like button and hit that little plus right above it if you're new and wanna see more stuff like this. I could make your hand move. I know, sounds crazy. You're like, how are you gonna do that? Well, I'm a magician, I'll show you. Just stare 
at the red dot in this video and don't take your eyes off of it. All right, what you're gonna notice is it's gonna look kind of trippy, you guys, just like the other illusions that I've posted. But even though it looks kind of trippy, bear with me and just stare at that red dot because after, not yet, you're gonna look at your hand, the palm of your hand, and it's gonna look crazy, guys. It's gonna start moving. And if it does, you gotta let me know by hitting that like and follow if you're new, okay? All right, you're almost done here. Maybe like 10, 15 more seconds. So just relax. And enjoy the little music in the background. All right, you can stop in three, two, one. Look at the palm of your hand, guys. Is it moving? Let me know, guys. And if you want to see more of these, hit that follow. I'd really appreciate it. Love you guys. How many faces do you see in this tree? According to studies, only 5% of people can see every single one. Quickly count to see how many you can see right now. I'll give you a few seconds. Let me just tell you, if you got six or less, you're nowhere close to the amount of faces there even are. Guys, check my Instagram story where I point out where all of them are. There's actually 10 of them. I can make everything around you look like it's growing. Just stare at the star in the middle of this screen and don't take your eyes off of it whatever you do. Now, you can blink. Just make sure you don't take your eyes off of that star. In a little bit, I'm gonna ask you to look around your room or wherever you are and everything is gonna look like it's expanding. It's gonna be nuts and if it works, you gotta let me know just by hitting that like button and following because that is insane. All right, you can look around you in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Look around you. Does everything look like it's growing? Let me know and send this to someone who's got to try it. What do you see first in this picture? According to various studies, if you see lips first, you're a very simple, go with the flow type person. If you see trees first, you're very strong, independent, but you sometimes let people walk all over you. And if you saw the roots first, which this is the minority, but if you see the roots first, you're very analytical, very responsible, but sometimes that works not in your favor. Which one are you? Don't blink. Stare at the dot in the middle of Cinderella's castle. I'm gonna make you hallucinate. In a sec, I'm gonna count down from 10, and on one, just keep staring at the dot, I'm gonna turn the entire photo to black and white once I get to one. But because I'm making you hallucinate, you're still gonna see color. In fact, you'll see the colors very realistic as opposed to how they are now. You'll see the blue sky, you'll see the color of the castle, everything. So I'm going to count down from 10, keep staring at the dot, try to keep your eyes open. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You see color, but look away from the dot. You'll see it really is a black and white photo. Guys, if it worked for you, make sure you let me know just by liking and following. Send this to someone who's got to try it. Quick, what do you see first in this photo? The cat, the dog, or the horse? I know you can probably see all three, but what was the first one that caught your eye? According to studies, if the first thing you saw was the cat, you're someone who tends to be adventurous and courageous and you like trying new things. For those of you who saw the dog first, you tend to be caring and you like making new friends. And lastly, if you saw the horse first, you are someone who's very bold. You tend to be a good leader. Guys, let me know which one you were and like and follow for more of these. Don't blink. Stare at the middle of this video and don't take your eyes off of it. Because by staring at the middle, I'm actually hypnotizing you. In a little bit, I'm going to count down from 10. And on one, I want you to look at the palm of your hand. Because it's going to look like it's moving. Alright? So I'm going to count down from 10. Keep your eyes open. Keep staring at the middle. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Look at the palm of your hand. Does it look like it's moving? Guys, if it does, let me know just by liking and following and send this to someone who's got to try it.